and we're back. With me today is Jason. I'm Diego, and we're here for Knott's Berry Farm's 100th year anniversary. Let's go check it out. Strawberry stand? Pretty cool. What? Oh, it's fake. It's cool though, it's playing like homage to the original. How Knott's Berry Farm started with the. Uh, it started off as a strawberry farm, strawberry stand. Right here. Oh, man, how do you say it? It's playing a mod. So here. Right by the funnel cake stand, right on the silver bullet, you can find Whittles, which is an old Knott's Berry Farm character. I think he was one of the original ones before the Peanuts character, so you definitely don't want to miss out on that photo opportunity that Knott's Berry Farm is bringing back for the 100th year anniversary celebration. So come on down, get your picture taken. The workers are really friendly. They even offered us to take a picture of us without our mask. So come check it out. But we're off to log ride. If it's not too full, we'll check because I heard that they increased the capacity from 25% to 35% capacity. So we're checking it out. And also, I must note that I'm not using a microphone today. I didn't really like how the old content came out from earlier this week. So I'm back at yelling at the camera. So change of plans, um, log ride was really full so we decided to come on over to Knott's Fairy Tales Return to the Fair. I already played it once, I really enjoyed the game, I brought Jason over to experience it and he says he wants to lose so I'm really, let's win. I'm really excited because I didn't like the voice of the Iron Reef at all because I was really scared of it. So I'm really excited that this is like fun and cheerful and not scary. And obviously I'm gonna win like I always win at all the shooting games. So yeah, I'll be back with the results real quick. They are. That's actually really cool. I had never seen Knots do that except for Peanut Celebration. They have done that. But the characters are walking never on a trolley like that. They're using all the original characters on the, like, when they first opened. We should be waiting here about 40 minutes. Oh, look at that! Look at that score! Oh, who won? Who won? Yeah. Hey, you only got four part eyes in here. But I hit more at bears, I guess. Hold on. Oh, who won? Though? Who won? Who won? That's what matters. Who won? It's not even fair. My arm is so tired. It was, it was good though. I enjoyed it. I liked it right. I liked it too. It's not good. It smells good. You can feel the wind. It's a good refresher ride. And I think we're up to water right now. We'll go check the lines at Calico Rapids, I think it's called. We haven't been to know some of them. How did they get 400 points? Wait, what? They didn't even have a dad. How did they even have a gun? There's no one there. Our ghost got 400 points without a gun. So yeah, we'll see. And we're going to head to the water ride. Calico River Rapids, I think it's called her. We used to be big for rapids. We haven't been on that in a while, so we forgot the name. We'll catch you guys in a bit. So Jason said that he doesn't want to go on a water ride because he already showered today. So he said another day that he hasn't showered. And also because it's kind of cold, but that's the excuse he said. I, I know the real reason. So we're headed to just walk around and look at the photo ops. We're looking for the mariachi. We saw two mariachi people walking around, so we're going to try to see where they're playing and probably try to get a bit of the show. And then we're also going to walk around and look at the photo ops that they have to offer here at the Knott's Berry Farm 100th year anniversary celebration. But I already beat him on the poison berry ride on the shooting game, so that's all that matters. I can leave and we'll be happy. 
Well, I'll be happy. You'll be sad, probably. So the mariachi is here at Fiesta Village. So we're gonna go ahead and watch them for a few minutes. They start at 6.30, it's 6.20. So we'll see and they're gonna start. They're not, they're just sound checking right now. We just finished listening to the mariachi. They played for about 30 minutes. They played around six songs. They were so good. Oh my god. They were they were really good. Powerful uh, women. We've seen them before. They played here before, but it was more of them, and they had a trumpet player. Today they didn't have a trumpet player, but I'm assuming that's because of social distancing. They didn't want to have too many people on stage. But it just brings back so many flashbacks to when we used to play in a mariachi band and we were like singing along to all the songs we knew all of them so it's cool to always watch those um at least for us because we played but now we're headed to see what photo opportunities there are here in boardwalks so up first we have the soapbox racer cars that scared me <laughs> I'm pretty sure you have to sit down. There's no seats? Oh, there isn't seats. And then from Sky Cabin, they replaced the K with the new one. So here's the old one. So here they have the Knott's Berry Farm Sky Jump, which used to actually be this. They would launch you off a parachute as shown in the pictures here. So here is the photo up theme to that as we see hang time come around here. Go in for the photo, sir. So here by the Johnny Rockets, they have Kingdom of the Dinosaur, a photo opportunity, which is the original ride that they actually had here. <laughs> Where the Knott's Berry Tales ride is now. It used to be a Kingdom of the Dinosaur ride. So here they have the Kingdom of the Dinosaur photo up. I just told Jason to get in for a picture. He got right in front of the dinosaur, so it defeats the whole purpose of the photo op. But let's go check out. They have another live show here. Let's see. It looks like they're playing like rock type of music. So we were there for a bit at the stage. We saw a few other YouTubers doing their vlogs as well. We didn't go up to them or anything. We were a bit shy, but they're just playing music, uh, casual English music that at least I don't really listen to as much. But yeah, we're going into Ghost Town, going into the shops right now. Never mind, he just came out. Wait, what? So yeah, we're just gonna look around Ghost Town right now, see what they have. Right now we're walking into the cemetery to see what we find let's see so one thing that i'm noticing is around the park they have these qr codes that say moment in history which you can scan and it'll give you a quick little history video to watch about the park so be sure to look at those throughout all the summer if you're here specifically for the 100 year anniversary or not so if you come over to this cemetery there's a grave that the heart is still pounding I don't know why he's standing on it. Pay respect, don't stand on the on the dead people. Oh, you actually almost <laughs> fell. <laughs> almost died. Alright, so we're actually going on Calico River Rapids now. It's almost like 8, it's 7.30, it's already cold. But there's no line, so... We were here already, we were walking around Ghost Town looking around. So we might as well just come on to this ride and check it out i mean we've been on it before but it's been a while so let's just hope we don't get even colder than we are already 
it's pretty cold already but yeah enjoying this i think i'll record a bit on this ride there's literally no line it's a walk-on because no one wants to go on right now because it's freezing cold yeah it's actually pretty cold We're sitting across each other to try to balance the the raft so we don't get too wet. But we'll see what happens. Oh, I'm gonna be the unlucky one already. Oh, oh. oh I didn't record that. No, I was in the other way. Oh, 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 oh. That didn't even land on me, but it's almost right here. Yeah, it's almost right there. What challenge it? That one. <laughs> the skin is so bad. Oh. That actually freaked me out. So that wasn't too bad. We just got kind of wet. Not, not too bad. Could have been worse. My butt is really bad. Yeah, same. But since we're already wet, we're headed to log ride probably. If the line is short, we're gonna go on it. Cause we're already wet, might as well. If not, we'll probably head over to like Jaguar or Silver Bullet or something that's empty. And we'll just check what's emptiest and go on that. So we were headed to Log Ride and we ran into a live music group. I don't know what genre it is. I think it's like country, like Creedence type of music. So they, we were watching them for a bit. They play pretty good. I, I actually like that music. So we actually decided we're not going on log ride anymore because the line was actually pretty long once we got up there. And by that time we're gonna be dry and then we're gonna get wet again. It's gonna be pretty cold, so we might as well go and look for something that we actually truly want to do. So we're gonna go try like Jaguar and then Silver Bullet, see which one's emptiest and then pick one of those probably. So we didn't end up getting on log ride, Jaguar or Silver Bullet. They were all really full. Well, log ride wasn't too full, but we didn't feel like waiting because we we're gonna get dry and then get wet again. So now we're just walking around and just seeing what else there is to offer at this celebration. We'll probably get a coffee or something warm because we're cold already. But every ride seems pretty full, so I don't think we're gonna be going on one anytime right now. Unless it's like a shorter line or something. So we're just walking around seeing what we can do. So here in front of the Knott's Berry Tales ride, they have a DJ. So thank you Jason for the coffee. We went outside and we came back inside so you can go outside and come back in as long as you show your ticket again. And we spent a little bit of time watching the mariachi again. They were playing a few more songs so we watched them for a bit. So now we're headed around just walking around again and seeing what we find.
I did not expect all that. I did not expect all that. I got really scared. That was, I was about to say, it's like, if they just switch a light and it just turns on, I would be extremely disappointed, but I was, um, that was really cool. Yeah, it was actually like a full on show. I was expecting just the strobe lights, I think they call the white lights, and then just the just the K to like start shining and then out of nowhere you see the sky cabin right going up and I was like oh look it's going up I was assuming when they went up that all the lights were gonna go on and then you see fireworks coming out it was really cool I don't know they're gonna be doing this every day or if it was just today because it's the first day of the 100th year anniversary celebration but if they do it every day or even Friday through Sunday I definitely recommend to just stay around the, the boardwalk area so you can see it up close it's really cool. Just be warned that there is fireworks and they're pretty loud. So don't get caught off guard. Don't get scared. So I just finished talking to the people who, I guess they coordinated the whole light show. They asked how I liked it, told them that I loved it. So they said that they're going to be doing this every night up until September 5th. So for the whole summer, the whole 100th year anniversary celebration. So if you're here at Knott's, I recommend just sitting anywhere he so he told me that next time i should sit on the other side of log ride and mine ride because the rides color coordinate with the actual lighting of the k so you, you saw how we got the view from here with the strobe lights the lighting the fireworks and everything if you go on the other side you would see that the rocks from the log ride mountain or the mine ride mountain it all coordinates with the k and he told me to just watch it from the other end next time so I recommend watching the show anywhere that you can and next time that I'm here I'll be sure to watch it on the other end and give you guys a review but that was way above my expectations it really impressed me it was really cool so I can't wait to come again he told me that the timing is gonna be different every time it's just when it gets dark you can check the website for what time it's gonna be the day that you show up Today it was at 8.45, but it might change when you come or when I come again. So we ended getting on the bumper cars because it was empty. There was literally no line. We were just walking around. Everyone was starting to leave, I think. So we'll just get on what we can right now in the last hour before we go. We just got off the bumper cars. Oh. He almost went flying out. Because I'm so... Some guy crashed into him and then it caught him off guard and he almost went flying out. He crashed into me a few times. He doesn't know how to drive, so can we blame him? I don't know, that's your call. I'm gonna blame him because he could have injured me, but thankfully he didn't. Let's see, is Pony Express long? Let's go on it, there's no line. The Pony Express line is short, so we're gonna just go on it. It seems like all the lines are getting shorter because people are leaving. So we're gonna go on Pony Express right now. So we just got on Pony Express and we're gonna try log ride again. Everything is emptier now. Um, everyone's starting to leave. Log ride is rougher than I remember, but that's the same with every other ride that we've been on this time and last time. So we're just gonna check out log ride, see how full it is. 
and then if it's empty we'll probably go on if not we'll probably just go on to another ride or something we're on lock right now the line was really short it's late at night and it's dark and it's cold no one wants to go on a water ride uh, except us, I guess, apparently. So we're on log ride and we'll be back after because it's really dark already. Oh. Oh. <laughs> he got in trouble for putting his feet on the chair. See you guys in a bit. We just got on the log ride, it was pretty empty. Thankfully, we didn't get too wet, but we got scared because when our log tilted to go downhill on the last drop, it made a really weird sound and it was like a pretty hard impact that it had that at least like I almost went flying out. It's a bit dramatic kind of. You are. It's not but, <laughs> but yeah, it like caught me off guard and like I was like, oh. But yeah, even he screamed a bit because he he was, was like not, I, that surprise is broken. Well yeah, he we thought that it was like it, I don't know, it just seemed weird because it was like, and then like it went downhill. We hadn't experienced it like that before, but there's a first time for everything, right? So now we're just walking around. We're going to see what else is empty. Probably Jaguar or Silver Bullet, and then that'll probably be the whole day. It's almost 10 p.m. So we are going on Jaguar. It's pretty empty, probably like a five minute wait. I think this might be it. The park's gonna close in like five minutes, so by the time we get off of this, I don't think we'll be able to wait in line for another ride. So we'll just see what happens. So we just got on Jaguar, and just like that, it's like 10.05, we can't get on anything else. So we're headed out, and I mean, it was, it was a successful day. We didn't really go on anything at the beginning. We were just mainly watching shows. And we basically got on most of the stuff that we wanted to get on in the last hour. So yeah, the lines really died down after 8.30 or 9. So it, it all worked out. And the park is closing now. So we just got out of Knott's Berry Farm for the 100th year anniversary celebration. Honestly, it was really good. It was really decorated um more than i expected it exceeded my expectations i guess last time that i was here was on tuesday today is friday i saw them setting up but i didn't get to see everything or some stuff was even covered up so i had no clue what they were but seeing it today it was just really cool seeing the the new k the light up for the first time with fireworks and everything and all the lighting events that they did it's really cool. I recommend it if you can to come. You just need to reserve a ticket in advance through the Knott's Berry Farm website, which I will leave the link down in the description. I don't know. What do you think about it? Um, I had a lot of fun. It was kind of like, um, it was really full. It was a lot more full than I expected. And like, even if like you don't want to go on a ride, what, cause they're full, there's still a lot to do and a lot to look around. It's really nice. Yeah, I agree. If you want to get on the rides, I suggest you arrive really early before, I believe they open at 10. So try to arrive before 12 or after 8. And that's when the lines will be the shortest. And we arrived like at around 6 or 5, I think. So we just got on one ride and then we just walked around, saw the shows, saw all the photo ops. And we were just walking around and talking with you guys. And until the end, when we got to get on all the rides, Again, the theming, everything is on point. I highly recommend that you come if you can. There's a lot to do. There's lots of live entertainment. You can go ahead and grab a snack, a coffee, or even a meal and go eat it and watch the show. There's tons to do, especially if you enjoy music. There's mariachi, there's type of like 90s rock, there's like country music, and then there's even like Western music with like banjo and everything that we did not get a chance to watch. It's just scattered all around the park. And there's more information on the Nosbury Farm website, but if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave a like. Let me know that you enjoyed this video. Leave down in the comments, what was your favorite part of attending the Nosbury Farm 100th year anniversary celebration? And with that being said, I'll let you guys go and I'll catch you guys next time. We just arrived to Knott's. 
and we're still in the parking lot and then we ran into the pizza plant truck. This ain't yo in the back, it does. It's actually like it.